Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here and continuing chapter number two. Uh, so, in which today our topic is article 2.3 of the book, which is the series diode configurations. Series diode configurations now what is the meaning of the topic so the meaning is that we will be basically solving some example problems uh, uh, in which a diode is connected in a series with the circuit or we have basically a series network fine and we'll be applying the basic uh, 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 circuit analysis rules which you guys would know better than me the thing is you need to know the basic concept fine and the basic concept is what when is the diode on when is the diode off so on and off these are the terms that i have not used uh, maybe maybe i've not used or maybe i've not used them frequently but the book in these examples uses them frequently so the on is the state when it is you know forward bias and it is in the conduction state on is equal to conduction and what is conduction when when it is forward biased and also this and also the the applied voltage v is greater than the barrier potential of the diode and also the the barrier potential is sometimes or the book in this particular state has mentioned it by a knee voltage vk so this vk is also the barrier potential Similarly, we have the off state of the diode and the off state is the non-conduction state and the non-conduction state is what? You either have a reverse bias situation or it could also be that you have V is less than the barrier potential or the knee voltage. Fine. If in this case, if this is a forward bias and this is less, still it would be in the non-conduction state. Fine. And similarly for off, you if this is this is reverse bias and the voltage is greater, still it would be off. So on and off are the two things. The 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 forward bias you could also say that the direction of the current is the same. So the direction of arrow of the current is the same as the arrow symbol of the diode. Fine, we are basically talking about the conventional current. Similarly, if you talk in the conventional current in this direction, so the direction of the current is opposite to the direction of the arrow of the diode. So this is state to be in the off state. Fine, so what we do is we would have to replace the diode by, by its equivalent model and why do we do that so you know this very well because to apply the basic mathematical rules so example 2.4 is the first example right yes so we have a silicon diode we have an 8 volt source so let's say we get started with example 2.2 if you can solve this yourself you just need to pause the video and and and, and solve it yourself so this is a silicon diode and we have a load resistor R and you know basically we've already seen this sort of an example. So this is E, this is a silicon diode and this is let's say a resistor R, a current has to flow and this is let's say the current and let's say I name it an I or ID, we'll see what the book has mentioned. Fine. ID the book has mentioned ID so now what you have is that for the series configuration determine VD VR and ID VD VR and ID so these are unknown where E is given to be 8 volts and the resistor R is given to be 2.2 kilo ohms 2.2 kilo ohms right 2.2 kilo ohms do we need anything else we do not need so first of all if you apply the key uh, first of all if you see so the uh, voltage across the diode vd that is what that is basically its diode potent its own barrier potential that will appear over here plus minus vd in the conventional current direction it's a silicon diode vd is equal to 0.7 volts then we are so that would be i times r the current flowing over here is id the current flowing over here is ir this is a series circuit the current is the same let's say overall current i name it as id fine 
So what do we have now? ID. So let us find out ID, right? The book has found out ID. Or you could also say you could first find out VR as well. If you apply KVL to the loop, so KVL implies what? KVL in the loop implies that you have a positive E, a minus VD which is a 0.7 volts and then you have a plus minus drop again. So you have a minus and the resistor is 2.2 kilo ohms. So you have a 2.2 into 10 power 3 multiplied to, to ID and this is equal to 0 and this E is 8 volts. So please, I cannot do the calculations over here again. So, so I have done the calculations basically or the book has also has it but you need to, you need to find it out and this would come out to be 3 point so what are we finding over here id so you have a you have a 3.32 milliamperes 3.32 milliamperes now we are would be what we are would be id times r and if you put the values in this case as well so you have the value to be 7.3 volts cross check the values please cross check the values uh, yes, I hope this is fine. Example 2.3, the next example. So we'll be solving a number of them in this video. Example 2.3. Now uh, I replaced, basically I did not draw the equivalent circuit, but the equivalent circuit is that I replaced the diode with its barrier potential, okay? The equivalent circuit is like this. The equivalent circuit is like this. This is a plus minus 0 0.7 for the silicon diode. 2.3 example. Repeat example 2.4 with the diode reversed. This is 2.4. This is 2.5. So I have to repeat it with the diode reversed. So, which means what? That, that if this is, this is like this. So, now what will happen? Uh, so, this is a plus minus E. Whatever it is, R, whatever it is, this is a silicon diode. So, in the previous case, have a look. If we solve with the conventional current, so the air of the current was matching the, 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 the air of the diode and the, 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 the battery potential was also greater than the barrier potential or the knee potential. So, it was in the on state. So, first you have to determine the on and off state. Now, in this case, have a look. Uh, the, the conventional current direction would be this sort of a direction but the arrow of the of the diode is in the opposite direction so which means that this will not conduct the direction is in the, the the diode is in the off state in this case so what would we have we would have an open circuit equivalent and 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 the rest of the circuit would be like this so what do we have in this case this is 8 this is 2.2 kilo so uh VD, VR and ID is unknown. So basically VD would be what? VD would, uh, be, uh, VD would be 8 volts. And how is this? So if you apply like this, that this is a plus minus VD, right? And you have a current in this case. So you have an E, KVL, E minus VD, and then you have a minus VR. And this is equal to 0. So E is equal to V, v is, VD is equal to E minus a, VD is equal to E minus VR, right? This implies that VD is equal to E minus a VR. Isn't it like this? And now have a look for VR. So VR would be 0. Why? Because the current is 0. We have an open circuit in between. So the current is no current is flowing. So the overall current in the circuit is 0. So if the overall current is 0, the overall voltage is appearing across the open circuit element. VD is 8 volts. VD is 8 volts. VR is 0. ID is 0. VR is 0, this is for part number 2, ID is 0 for part number 3. Isn't it like this? It should be, it is, it is. Example 
example 2.6 so I'm sorry if I'm not having the eye contact with you guys this is these are simple things example 2.6 for the silicon diode of the configuration so the first let me draw the configuration you have a plus 0 0.5 volts let me draw it over here example 2.6 you have a plus 0 0.5 volts you have a silicon diode you have a resistance of 1.2 kilo ohms and you have a ground so what does this this mean uh, what does this notation mean a plus 0.5 mode so this means that basically you have a circuit that this is connected to the positive end of that so this battery basically if you have let's say over here you are given a plus 10 volts the book has explained it so so what does this mean this mean that this is the positive terminal of the battery and and the negative is grounded and the battery is of a 10 volts similarly if you are given a potential at a point is a negative 10 volts so this means that if this is the point which you are representing so this is the negative terminal of the battery and the positive terminal is grounded and this has a 10 volt potential so this circuit could also be drawn as uh, if you want to complete this so this could be like this that you have a, a, a silicon diode you have a resistor and uh, you have a ground fine and, and 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 this is the the battery which is a plus 0.5 volt so this is basically the equivalent circuit of that so in this case what are we asked we are asked to find vd vr and id vd vr and id so those are unknown fine okay so first of all vd so this is a silicon diode vd would be 0.7 volts VD would be 0 0.7 volts, so you can replace it, you know, you can draw, draw your circuit like this. 0 0.5, 0 0.7 and whatever the value. Now we are, what we I times are, you could say, or first you could find out the current. So the current would be, would be over here. This current is flowing, this is a series circuit and this is, this is known as ID, right? The current that would be pressured by that source. So again, you forgot to find out the on and off state of the diode and I made a mistake. I made a mistake, right? And what is that mistake? So let me tell you. I did not first check if this was in the on and off state. So first you have to check for the on or off state. So have a look over here, the applied potential is less than the diode barrier potential. So this has to be in the off state. The applied potential V is less than the barrier potential. So this means this is in the off state. Although it is a forward biasing potential, P is connected to the positive terminal. So, so which means that I have a mistake and the mistake is that I would rub this part and, and, and have a look. The equivalent circuit would be if this is my plus 0.5 volts, I would have an open circuit over here. I have a resistance and, and if I have an open circuit, so the current is zero, no current inflowing. So I would say ID is zero amperes. If ID is zero, VR is ID times this value of R vr is id times the value of r so this is the voltage across this is also zero so now i have to find out the voltage over here which is in the plus minus this direction so i would have a plus 0.5 volts minus vd uh, equal to zero right because this is also zero so i would have vd equal to 0.5 volts isn't it like this VD is equal to 0.5 volts. It is. It is. VD is equal to 0.5 volts. Okay. Next example, please. Example 2.7. Example 2.7 is that you have 
टू डायोड एग्जाम्पल टू पॉइंट सेवन प्लस ट्वेल्व वोल्ट देन यू हैव अ सिलीकन डायोड देन यू हैव अ रेड एलईडी द रेड आई विल ड्रॉ इट विद रेड कलर एंड देन यू हैव अ रेजिस्टर and that is grounded which is a 680 ohms resistor what is unknown unknown is v not and id v not is unknown id is unknown so v not is basically this potential with respect to the ground and id is the current flowing through this diode id and ir would be the same so 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 let me draw the red diode first id is this thing ir would be the current flowing through the resistor so id and ir is the same because of the series nature and so what do you have uh, uh, you could you could write a simple current so simple one notation for that so have a look now uh, first of all the under the off state so this is a plus 12 volt it's greater than 0.7 for the silicon diode and it's 2.2 i believe uh, it's uh, 1.8 1.8 for the red so it's 1.8 volt for the red the barrier potential so 12 volt is greater than that and that's even greater than the both in series combination so which means this will pressure the current and it's also followed by icing so this diodes both the diodes are in the on state so what would you do you would write this 12 volts over here plus 12 volts and then you have a barrier potential of a plus minus 0.7 and then you have a plus minus 1.8 and then you have a resistor which is a 680 ohms and if you want me to draw it like this so you could even draw it like this 12 volt source and the current id would be the same throughout so let me name the current as id the conventional current and v not is the voltage across this resistor so v not and id is unknown so let's apply kvl to the circuit so we would come out at least with one thing so kvl implies what a plus 12 volts leave the volts plus 12 minus 0.7 minus 1.8 minus 680 times id is equal to 0 solve for id please id comes out to be id comes out to be 13.97 milliamperes 13.97 milliamperes and similarly then we not would be equal to id times r multiply it for yourself put the values what is the value 9.5 volts 9.5 volts 1 2 3 4 this is enough for the video no it should be at least a half an hour video it should be at least half an hour video so what do you think of it Let's say we continue it in the next video, because then you would get bored. You would get bored then, right? So let's say we make two videos out of it. So see you in the next video. Very soon, continuing these examples. Till then, take care. Goodbye.